Solving the Global Housing Crisis. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 328. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do-it-yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution-creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. This is our weekly progress update number 328, July 7, 2019 edition. One Community is an all-volunteer nonprofit bringing together people with consciousness for the highest good of all life on this planet and creating self-replicating and sustainable teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And today what I want to talk about is solving the global housing crisis. Uh, well, the last time that the United Nations tried to even evaluate the global housing crisis was in 2005. And at that point, they estimated that 100 million people did not have how, were, were living on the streets, were living without housing, and that 1.6 billion people had inadequate housing. If you're thinking that's a crazy number, you'd be right. That is a crazy number. And if you're thinking that it would be pretty difficult to solve a problem like that, you'd be right there too. We think that one of the paths to solving that is by creating a massive need in rural areas for stewards, global stewards. And so we're creating a self-replicating teacher demonstration model for creating that need. Our idea is to take everything that you see happening in the background of the video right here and to create open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for replicating everything that you see in part or as individual components. Oh, I'm sorry, as individual components or as the complete teacher demonstration hub. And these teacher head demonstration hubs are meant to be built around the world and to teach people how to replicate them. <clears throat> in so doing, we want to positively and permanently impact the lives of every single person on this planet within our generation. And the self-replicating model is the path to doing that. And that includes solving the global housing crisis. How the heck do we do that? Well, first of all, we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate these models as attractive enough so that they'll spread on their own. And the way that we're doing that is by creating an evolution of sustainability that takes the physical foundations of sustainability, which are food, energy, and housing, and it combines them with the emotional foundations of sustainability that we've identified as fulfilled living practices, uh, highest good education models, highest good economic models, and truer stewardship. Put these things together, and we create a teacher demonstration hub model designed to present and demonstrate and offer a way of living that most people consider to be better than the way they're living right now. And from that place, this model will become self-replicating. That is making it attractive enough. We're demonstrating it's easy enough, making it affordable enough, demonstrating it's attractive enough so it'll spread on its own. And from that place of spreading on its own, creating a global cooperative and collaborative of these teacher demonstration hubs working together for the highest good of all life on the planet, creating more open source tools and tutorials and resources and creating more plans so that people can modify it, adapt it, make it the way that they want. It's all open source and free shared so that people can do it the way that they want or they can replicate what it is that we're creating as the easiest path. And if we can create this self-replicating model all over the world, creating teacher demonstration hubs in Africa and Brazil and in Thailand and in Louisiana and in Canada and in Alaska, demonstrating these teacher demonstration hubs as a way to not only improve quality of life, but to steward the earth around, the land around these communities and the earth as a whole, working in cooperation and collaboration together to create a world that works for everybody, we can create that need for the people that are currently overpopulating cities, that are currently living in mad, ridiculously dense population centers. We can create a place for them to go, the skilled individuals, the people that want to make a difference in the world, and demonstrating that, hey, that's a better way to live for everybody that wants to. This is our idea. And so that self-replicating model includes larger cities and things of that nature, but it starts with small communities, small teacher demonstration hubs, bringing the resources and the know-how to the places that need it most, <clears throat> excuse me, and teaching people how to replicate that. Does that make sense? And even if we don't accomplish that goal, does it make sense to try? We think it does. You know, so we're, we're an all-volunteer team. We're 100% volunteer, we're a non-profit organization, we're a non-governmental organization, we're doing this, we've been, I've been at this now for 10 years, we're designing these plans and these villages to build the prototypes in one location so that people from all over the world can come and visit, experience what it is that we're creating. Everything you see in the background here, take what it is that they like and what they want to replicate and take all the blueprints and the resources that we're designing for free and to replicate that, to modify it, to adapt it, to hopefully make it even better and then share that information back to the open source 
archived so that there's even more plans, more designs, more examples. And once again, as we make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate is attractive enough, the idea will spread on its own. And that self-replicating model, if you were to start with 50 people and imagine one community, our one community, inspiring two more communities in the first year to begin, and us and those two communities the next year inspiring four more, and those four inspiring eight more, and then 16 and 32. I mean, you could touch the lives, you could include every single person on the planet within 30 years. Now, does the replication model actually happen like that? It remains to be seen. But if we were to only get five or 10%, or even a much smaller, if we were only to get 1% of the human population involved in this, this idea, we could touch the lives of every single person on this planet. We could make a measurable, an objectively measurable difference. But our goals are so much bigger than that. We wanna solve the global housing crisis. We wanna create happier people all over the world. We wanna solve the food problems. We wanna solve the issues around, that are the underlying issues that are creating war and conflict and social injustice and inequality. And these teacher demonstration hubs are designed to do that, is to create a global team of people working from different nations, from different backgrounds, from different value systems, but working together towards a common goal of creating a better life for themselves, for their friends, their family, having more fun, living a better life, working in, in jobs that they truly enjoy and making a difference in the world, touching on the, the, the six human needs, which I talked about in the last couple of videos, and, and meeting those needs better than the way they're living right now. This is what one community is all about. So can we solve the global housing crisis? Absolutely, I think we can. Is this the way to do it? I think this is one way to do it. And so I've dedicated my life to this goal and other people that have joined the team have too. And this is how we see ourselves making a positive difference in the world for everybody. So with that said, here is one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the goal of solving the global housing crisis and so much more. Check it out. The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. This week, the core team did another round of testing the Murphy bed assembly instructions for the changing area. What you see here are the errors we found. Brianna Olson, sustainability researcher, completed her fifth week researching the most sustainable insulation options. This week, she continued compiling the data from her research table into the tutorial template. You can see some of this work here, and we'd say we're now about 70% done. Dean Schulz, architectural designer, finished week 165 working on the Earthbake Village. This week, he updated the stairs and front door to meet code and added more south wall details. Dan Ellick, designer and illustrator, completed his 48th week helping with Earthbake Village renders. This week he finished work on the people, plant, and texture updates to this final view of the Earthbake Village looking south. Shadi Kennedy, artist and graphic designer, also completed his 58th week developing the Murphy Bed instructions. This week's focus was checking the details of the bed box section, integrating last week's feedback on the benches section, and identifying final checks needed for the storage area. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. This week, Uchiao Zhang, architectural designer and drafter, completed his seventh week helping finalize the City Center AutoCAD and SketchUp files. This week, he started designing and calculating the needs for the rainwater harvesting system, created the first draft of the new zoning and harvesting strategy, and kept adding furniture and window details in the AutoCAD and SketchUp models. You can see some of this work here. Ron Wang, mechanical engineer, continued with his ninth week working on the energy modeling for our LEED Platinum Certification and City Center Open Source HVAC Design Tutorial. This week he began analyzing and updating the proposed building model to meet LEED requirements. You can see some of this work here. Sneha Dongre, structural engineer, additionally continued with her 15th week helping with the duplicate City Center structural details. This week's focus was adding 3D surfaces to the cupola and surrounding patio and testing them in SAP 2000. You can see some of this work here. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, 
part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. This week, the core team continued with week 16 of our development of the open source lake and water retention landscape design tutorial. This week, we wrote the why and details section and draft one of the construction steps. You can see some of this work here. The core team also continued developing the behind the scenes content for the open source permaculture design page. What you see here are some of our tutorial outline and notes so far. Last but not least, the core team began researching sheep by reviewing Raising Sheep, The Basics. We also watched Five Reasons to Consider Sheep and What I Wish I Knew Before Starting a Sheep Farm, took notes on the relevant content, broke out timeframes, and added all we learned to our new behind-the-scenes sheep tutorial Google Doc. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. With eight years of messing and designing it, this component of one community is pretty much complete until we move on to the property and continue to develop it with teachers and students. Completed sections include comprehensive subject outlines covering arts and trades, English, health, math, science, social sciences, technology and innovation, and values. Also, 52 weekly themed lesson plans covering all the subjects we just mentioned, all learning levels and ages, and usable in any learning environment. Twelve detailed and progressive curriculum outlines are also complete, summaries and integration of all the best-known alternative education programs including Montessori, Waldorf, ORF, Regio, and more, and leadership skills, collaborative assessment formats and forums, a global online free education resource hub, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet. This week, the core team created a new donations page that we'll be using our marketing grant to promote. You can see some of the new page here. The core team working with Brian Gilb, project management professional, also created a new volunteer onboarding strategy and process and finished the administrator user functionality of the Highest Good Network software. You can see some of this work here. And Emilio Nahara, digital marketer, continued with his 35th week as part of the marketing team by researching what is and isn't working in the new keyword campaigns. The number of keywords per ad group was the main focus this week. You can see some of this work here. There you have it. There's one week of our team's progress and accomplishments working towards the goal of solving the global housing crisis. Uh, if you'd like to see more details, more specifics, links to all the open source content, you can visit our written blog, you can visit our website. Uh, if you'd like to receive an email every time one of these updates comes out, you can send an email to onecommunityupdates at gmail.com and we'll add you to our newsletter list. And uh, if you'd like to help out, visit our helping page or join us on social media. We're on all the different social media networks to make it as easy as possible. Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Reddit, Instagram, Pinterest, uh, LinkedIn and about 15 other social media networks. So join us there, share our information, like our information. It's really easy to do. Uh, if you're somebody that's donated to our project, thanks. That's a big help as well. And uh, yeah, till next week, we will, of course, keep on keeping on. Thank you.